If you should ever visit the island of Sodor, you will be sure to discover some familiar places and faces on your travels up and down the line. One of these faces is a little old lady who lives beside Thomas's branch line. Mrs. Kindly knows everyone, and everyone knows her. Pete, Pete, hello Mrs. Kindly. Thomas, Mr. Driver, Mr. Fireman, Mr. Guard. These days, Thomas, his driver, and his fireman help assist her to and from the stations along the line. But some of the other engines thought it foolish that Thomas would stop between stations for her. This sometimes caused confusion and delay, and today he was very late indeed. You're not Bertie, Thomas. I know passenger is more important than another. Our trains can't be kept waiting, little Thomas. Even the fat controller was close. Thomas, the main line waits for no one, and I have a timetable to follow. I expect you to be on time tomorrow. Before the little engine could answer, the platform was flooded in steam. Thomas had burst his safety valve. What's wrong, Thomas? My safety valve has burst. And that simply won't do. Stepney, I'll need you to take Thomas's passengers now and... Topham, I'm waiting on my grand surprise. Or had your wife's needs slipped your mind? Ah, uh, yes. Don't worry, my dear. I shall have your surprise delivered to the station tomorrow. Stepney, could you help Thomas, please? Stepney could see Thomas was sad. Is something else the matter, Thomas? Mrs. Kindly has a special platform outside her cottage for us to collect her and bring her into town. But now this means my service runs late. Please, can you make time to collect her tomorrow? Of course I will. I'll just have to hurry faster than ever, the little engine smiled. The next day, Stepney was determined not to let Mrs. Kindly down. But as he approached the level crossing, they had to wait. Bother, now we're sure to be late. Then Stepney saw his friend Caroline, who he'd known from many years ago. Caroline, where are you going? The cricket players don't want me anymore. They're all over their swish new car Charlie now. If they can't sell me soon, then I'm to be broken up next week. Now Stepney felt even worse. And to think, he said, the day was going so well too. Despite what the fat controller had said, Stepney did collect Mrs. Kindly on his way back to the big station. I really must hurry if I'm to be anywhere soon. If only there was a way to help Mrs. Kindly and keep the passenger run to time. But no matter how much he tried, there was one delay after another. At last, the little engine wheezed into the station. Mrs. Kindly was pleased with Stepney. Thank you, Stepney. Engines like you are a fine example of being really useful. After all, it does get awfully lonely in that cottage. And she headed for the town, just as the fat controller arrived. He was cross. You're late, the fat controller snapped. 
This just won't do. Stepney was about to explain about Mrs. Kindly when he was rudely interrupted. Topham, I'm stood expecting my grand surprise. As Mrs. Kindly was about to leave the station, Caroline arrived on a low loader. Here, my dear, is your grand surprise. What? That old bagger? Oh, thank you. Caroline, my dear, is your ticket to exploring the wonders of the island. Lady Hat glanced the poor car up and down. I was expecting something of more class, Topham. She's just too old. <coughs> Fashion, uh, for my liking, if you know what I mean. Just then, Stepney had an idea. Please, sir. Mrs. Kindly relies on Thomas to collect her from her cottage. That's why his trains have been running late. But Caroline would be a perfect way to help her shop in town. Now the fat controller understood. He turned to Caroline. Well, it seems your days of driving are far from over. Would you like to ride in Caroline, Mrs. Kindly? Ho ho ho, I'd be glad to. Stepney couldn't help but be. And neither could Caroline. Thomas was soon back at work on his branch line, and everything managed to run on time. The fat controller arranged for Stepney to take Caroline to Jem Cole, who made her look as good as new. The little car was exactly what Mrs. Kindly needed. Now they drive along the country lanes together, humming as they roll. Stepney sees them sometimes when he takes trucks to the big station and never forgets to whistle hello. Mrs. Kindly is very happy to have Caroline. And Caroline is happy to have Mrs. Kindly. Most of the time. I'm still waiting for my grand surprise. <laughs>